Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. We are here with our Cubone and our Eevee and we just discovered something pretty um, terrifying in the tower here. Uh, what is this tower called? Pokemon Tower. So there is apparently a very, very uh, uh, overrun tower with spirits in it and I, I have no idea what to do. <laughs> so I guess we can go around and explore. Oh hey, Cubone, you okay? Cosmic is happily staring at the swaying flowers. I'm good, that's good. At least you're not scared of everything that's going <gasps> Excuse me? We came all the way to Lavender Town on the boss's orders, but where in the world is this old man Fuji supposed to be? The only place is that old spooky tower, right? That's right. We couldn't get to the top of that strange ghost getting in the way. Well, we couldn't find that old man, but at least we found this Cubon. Let's get back to our hideout. At least we have something to show for our trouble. Right, let's head to the Rocket Game Corner in Celadon City. Oh, so that's where we're supposed to go next. I get it. Oh, Cubon just wants his mom. Oh, does a little Cubon want his mommy? Your mommy's in Celadon City. Come on, we'll take you there. That's so cruel. That's right, I think we better blast off. That's so cruel, they're lying to it. I just, I just saw something awful. Did you see? Team Rocket jumped at that pure cube one. It sounds like you're heading to Celadon City, but they must be planning on taking that skull bone it wears and selling it at a high price. No, I'm gonna stop them. Come on, Cubone. This is a matter of good decency. Get out of our way, woman! We need to protect the Cubone! The cute round fluffy Pokemon. I don't care! We got a Cubone that's in danger! No one cares about Lokes when there's a Cubone in danger. Clefairy? Oh girl, we know about Clefairies over here. Okay, vibe. Blast it with a psychic pulse. We need to go. We are in a rush. The longer that cube one is not in our grasp, the closer it is to doom. Oh yeah, the one move that'll take out my my vibe. Come on. Ooh, vibe is just like nah. This is just a little bit of water, girl. You're gonna have to try harder. Let's use a bug buzz. Oh, what is that? I really like that move. Tail Whip? I mean, you can try wiggle your tail all you want, but it's not gonna work. Vibe, use another Bug Buzz. I feel like Bug Buzz is like this like weird, like psychic, uh, bug type move with full of like poor spores and stuff that vibe is just learned from like being a psychic type Pokemon Let's learn boomerang. Okay, we'll learn boomerang. Boomerang's actually a pretty good move I think we'll learn it instead of leer Because I think our Cubone is I think Cosmic is getting so frustrated that one of its own is like in trouble and one of its own is like Had like such a bad luck of things Yeah, we don't care. We gotta go girl Leave us be Listen, sir, I'm going to battle you just because I know you're going to cause trouble for me on the way back. Gamer Rich. Yeah, okay, whatever. Seeking Girl. <laughs> okay, listen. If you guys know anything about me, you'll know that a Seeking is one of my most hated Pokemon that I've ever experienced. I just really do not like Seeking. <laughs> Mainly because Goldeen evolves into Seeking, and I just feel like it, like... It's such a bad thing. Okay, well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take out Volt because I think Volt can fry this fish. And um, yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. Come on, Volt. Thank you. See, it keeps using Horn Drill because Horn Drill is like a really like powerful move. But you know what's also power? Thunder. Wait, excuse me? Oh, it timed that correctly, did it? Mm-hmm. Fine. Honeydew. Let's go ahead and wrap this thing up with uh, some vine whips. Let's serve some sashimi over here. 
Yeah, let's do the Razor Leaf. You're not getting any sympathy from us. How is the Seeking so freaking powerful? You are a water Pokemon. Oh my god. I feel like we just like tossed it back into the water. We were so frustrated. Like it caused one of our Pokemon to freaking faint and we're like on a rescue mission. Now I gotta use a revive. I gotta like <laughs> You know what I mean? This is not this is not what I wanted to do. You know, now I wanna start my day off reviving a Pokemon that didn't even get to attack. Let's use a super potion over here. There you go. <sighs> Honestly. Oh, there's a field here. There's a Jigglypuff. Wait, we've already got Jigglypuff already. How good is my chemistry grade? Probably higher than yours, sir. I'm sorry, I'm feeling extra sassy today because there's like a Pokemon I need and we are not being let go. Ooh, a coughing. I love coughing. For some reason, I really loved all the Pokemon that Jesse and James ever caught. Like, all their Pokemon just seemed really cute. Oh, nice! Oh, that was good. Vibe was not messing around there. I bet you that Seeking pissed everyone off and was just like, Nope, you know what, we're not taking any chances right now. What is in that field? I don't know. I'm gonna guess not rare Pokemon because, like, we haven't run into any new Pokemon yet. Watch me, like, walk past, like, really rare Pokemon. Radicate, uh, Jigglypuff, nah, you're not. Okay, we need to like pass by you girls. Come down here. Oh no! Cubone! Cubone, I wish I could come up to you. Oh damn. You should be informed, you need strategy to win at this. Um, you don't need strategy when you've got a good th team, you know what I'm saying? Team that's got back no matter what. Jolteon. I guess maybe our Eevee is a little bit shaken by this because it's like, oh my god, this is a powerful like evolution. I don't want to evolve. But I think Vibe is just not gonna worry about it. To Vibe, it's just another it's just another obstacle in our way. And I feel like the, the Psybeam is also doing a thing where it's like like physically and mentally like wearing the Pokemon down being like listen we need to win this you know whoa bug buzz there was actually quite nice quite good like I like that as in like the side beam is, is like like um convincing the Pokemon not to defend themselves and then we hit them with another attack it's like BAM you know Underground, instead of the lavender tower, we don't need to go there. Wait, you're gonna... Hmm. I thought you were just like gonna say something really weird. I didn't think you were actually gonna fight me. Normally there's not, the, not people who flack close to the gate. Magnemite. Oh, we were always running into problems with Magnemite. Okay, let's use Vibe's Psychic ability. If not, we'll change over to Volt and its fighting ability. Because... It's steel. Steel is like so powerful, like it's so many different things. It always bothered me about steel. I was just like, why is it why is it so powerful? You know? There we go. Okay, Volt, let's use a double kick, because that seems to do really well against them. Yep. Two times, another Thunderbolt. Well, you know what? We'll just, just charge Volt's electricity. You do that. Mm hmm. Now we're going to run forward with a quick attack, just to get in there and make sure it's gone. There we go. Perfect. Come on, we gotta go, sir. Hopefully there's a Pokemon Center in here because we've taken a lot of damage. Oh, and guard duty. I take my duty very seriously, but gee, am I ever thirsty. 
I wish I had some tea to drink. Hold on there, kid. I'm afraid I can't let you pass through here. Excuse me? Are we supposed to just take the underground tunnel then? Alright. This seems like a weird one. But I mean, no harm. Come on, keep on you doing okay? He's looking around and worried. Want to try calling, it, calling out to it? Yes. Looks slightly relieved. Oh, keep one, are you okay? Cuba must be very, very worried about things. It's definitely probably worried about its friend and itself. I just think Cuba is such a cute little Pokemon. I don't like the fact that it's wearing a skull, but I do think it's really cute. Bum, bum. Do you ever go often? You know what I mean? This is a department store in Celadon City. They sell all kinds of things. It's very handy. I think in Celadon City, that's where we get the, the evolution stones. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, you're probably a trainer. I don't want to battle you, miss. I just want to do things my way. Thank you. Radicate, Radicate, Pidgey. Nope, there's no Pokemon there that we want to catch. Um, or that even seems injured. Okay, still don't see it. Okay, Pokemon's there. Thank God. Ooh, there was a Team Rocket guy. Did you just see him? Like, straight outside. Oh, oh my gosh. How does, like... Why do they... Just let the Team Rocket team just walk around? Oh, I should probably talk to everyone there. I want to talk to this guy, though. What do you think you're doing running around here? We're Team Rocket, don't you know? Okay, well, fine, sir. I'll go back into the Pokemon Center, I guess. <laughs> Let me talk to all of you people. The woman with the Abra at the corner there. Raz, she's an amazing fortune teller. Seems like you've been having quite a marvelous adventure. Seems as like she increased the moves to teach her Pokemon, so hey, you. Do you want to teach Marvel's move to Eevee? I don't, unfortunately. Eevee actually cannot learn any Marvel's moves. Uh, Ketonin Vulpix. If you have a Vulpix, please trade it for my Vulpix. Oh, so we could trade your Vulpix for a Ice Vulpix. Will we do it, guys? I wonder if we could catch a Vulpix that wants to be traded. Like, does our Vulpix want to be traded? Because we got this Vulpix who's male. Somewhat stubborn and naive. I don't think this Vulpix would go over because it's stubborn and it'd be like, no, I don't want to leave. I don't want to do that. So yeah, I think we're okay with that. A Pokex would awaken sleeping Pokemon. It does with so with a sound that only they can hear. Oh, hello. It's one of the ladies from the tower. <laughs> I'm Madame Celadon. I'm the one who can look into your future and see the encounters that are to come. Shall I see the, foresee the nature of those faithful allies you have met? Charge you sent as when you like to know your fate? Okay. Well then, let me ask you a few questions. There are five flowers of different colors in front of you. Which flower do you water? Uh, the pink one. I see, I see. Now, among the five flowers I mentioned earlier, which one will you thin out if you have to? I think I will thin out the red ones. Understood. Now I look into your future. Meeting, greeting, every time so fleeting. Hello, goodbye, every day beneath the sky. Nietzsche, Nietzsche. Wouldn't want to date ya. Abracadabra. Nature is so fabulous. Sincero. <laughs> Fate is guiding your path. The encounters you will, likely, you will have this day are likely to have, yes, a timid nature. Now then, I'll take your payment. I wish you good fortune. Oh, so she must be like, um, she must change the nature of the Pokemon. So that means any Pokemon we run into today will be timid. That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. All right, guys, I'm actually in a rush today because I do have a doctor's appointment that I need to go to. Uh, so I will leave you guys here. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any tips and tricks for me for dealing with Celadon City, please let me know. Because it's, it's, it, it's looking very complicated. All right, guys. 
Bye-bye.